What's up guys, welcome back to another video. A lot of you guys have actually asked me about my thumbnails for many 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 months and how I make them and I thought it's about time that we dive deep into Affinity Photo. Affinity Photo is the app that I use to make all my thumbnails and color grading and all that. You can do a lot of color grading inside the Luma Fusion, but you are limited. You can also do a lot more color grading inside of Premiere Pro, but you are also limited. So you have uh, Lightroom, you have Photoshop, and you have Affinity Photo. I used to use Lightroom for a couple of months. It was I felt it was like too much, and I didn't understand it that much either. So. Uh, that's why I went over to uh, Affinity Photo. I found this app on just googling how to color grade, uh, how to grade your footage better using an app, and I found Affinity Photo. So, Affinity Photo is basically like Photoshop. You get Affinity Photo on your computer as well, and you get it as an app. So, most a lot of people are actually going the direction of Affinity Photo rather than Photoshop. I mean, if you have Premiere Pro, uh, After Effects, uh, stuff like that, it's cheaper to get the... Uh, no, actually it's not. It's monthly, it's a monthly subscription. So Affinity Photo is cheaper. Affinity Photo is, I, how much is it? 20-ish bucks uh, and you pay one time and you have it forever and you get awesome updates and you also get tutorials inside the app as well. It's time to dive into Affinity Photo and I'm going to show you how simple it is to make some pretty cool and decent thumbnails. So let's jump right into LumaFusion and no, not LumaFusion, haha, <laughs> we're going to dive into Affinity Photo. So let's dive into Affinity Photo and make some super cool thumbnails. So let's start by going into Affinity Photo and make some awesome thumbnails. And here you can also see some of the previous thumbnails that I made for previous videos. So we're going to start by tapping on the plus sign. Then we're going to go to our photos if we have a photo that we want to use for a thumbnail. We can see that we have uh, the scribble effect thumbnail that I made previously. Let's start by going into that photo and we're going to recreate that thumbnail that I made for the scribble effect video. So once we get inside of the picture, we want to tap on this icon if we're going to mask it out. And this is only if you want to mask it out so you can place the text behind the subject that you masked out. The next thing we do is tap on the masking pencil and then we simply zoom into the photo and we can adjust the width of the masking pencil mark and we can make it snap to the edges and we can also choose all layers. So here's an example of what it looks like if we don't snap edges and that will allow us to uh, have full control over the masking and if we tap on snap to edges, Affinity Photo will try to mask out as good as it can and it will only mask out the part that has the same color inside of a small radius. And once you're happy with the marking, you go over and you tap on the refine selection tool. This will open up the options on what you want to do with the masking and what I usually do is make a new layer with a mask and this allows me to actually keep the mask layer and the main photo itself which allows me to easily place the text behind the subject. The next thing we do is go over to the layers on the top right and we enable the background. And this will allow us to have the mask layer and the background photo at the same time. So the next thing we want to do is to add some text. And we're going to add some text by tapping on this icon right here, which has the A. And uh, then we're going to just tap and drag on the middle of our photo. And then we're going to release and we're going to start typing. And we're going to type scribble effect. And once we're done typing, we're going to move over to the A on the right side. And then we're going to go to the font on the top. 
and we're gonna change this font to surfing capital. And the next thing we do is simply place the text where we want the text to be and we can change the color of the text as well. We're gonna change this to white. And the next thing we do is resize the text to our desired position and size. And then we go over to layers once more on the top right and we tap and hold on the text layer and we drag it underneath the pixel which is the masked out subject. And as you can see that takes the text behind the subject right away and this is a really easy and cool way you can make some awesome thumbnails. And you can also go into effects and you can add some color grading to it and you can add some effects to it and you can do all kind of different stuff. So if you're used to Photoshop this is a really good app that you can use to create some similar stuff and a lot of people is actually going for Affinity Photo over Photoshop. I'm not saying that Affinity Photo is better than Photoshop but from what I've seen online and on YouTube as well comparing the two together a lot of people mean that Affinity Photo is easier to use than Photoshop so if you have Affinity Photo and Photoshop let me know in the comment section below what you think is the best uh, suited for making color grading and uh, for um, for thumbnails and all that just uh, let me know in the comment section below so once we're done making our thumbnail, we're gonna go to the top left and we're gonna tap on the paper icon. Then we're gonna tap on export. Then we're gonna tap on share. And then we're gonna tap on save image. And this will save the image directly to the Photos app on our iPad. And you can easily go into the Photos app and you can find the photo. So that's how simple it is to get the text behind the subject and that's how easy it is to use the masking option or the masking tool inside of Affinity Photo. And uh, you can use Affinity Photo for a lot of things as well. You can probably create some pretty cool things and put them inside of LumaFusion, but you have to use the screen recording as we were talking about in uh, the previous video not the previous the one before that and um, if you haven't seen it go check that video out in that video i'm talking about the scribble effect so if you haven't seen the scribble effect video for luma fusion go check that out right away and uh, you will see that you can do some pretty cool stuff as well so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a big thumbs up if you didn't like it give it a thumbs down and if you're new to my channel consider subscribing we are increasing in subscribers day by day and it's so awesome to see that we are getting there we are getting there and the goal is to reach 10,000 by the end of the year and hopefully we can do that faster 10,000 will be a huge giveaway so just share, share and be awesome. And also notifications, turn them on and get notified when I upload. Oh, what's next? What's tomorrow? What is tomorrow's video? Let's see. Tomorrow's video is going to be... Uh, tomorrow's video is gonna be a muffle, sound, underwater effects, so you see, you've seen it in a lot of travel vlogs. So when the sound is going from, or the music is going from the normal beat to whoop underwater, um, we're gonna create that sound in tomorrow's video. Peace.